How's it going folks? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. Right now we're talking about the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. Is it a good MacBook Pro companion? So right off the bat, a couple of key details about this drive. Number one, it is rugged. It features an IP55 water and dust resistant design and thanks to its vibration and shock resistant solid state core, it can withstand drops up to two meters. Another important detail is that SanDisk includes a three year limited warranty. So here it is folks, the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. First impression is that it's, it's tiny. It's about three and a half inches tall. And you know, you would expect that because the name itself says portable. So we would hope that it would be just that and it lives up to its name perfectly fine. You can see it fits easily in the hand and let's compare it to something that we all know and love, the AirPods. So you can see that one terabyte drive next to the AirPod case, very small and very thin and still packs a whole lot of storage in there. Now, the one thing I don't really like about the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD is the build quality. Um, not necessarily even build quality, just the build materials. Like there's plastic on the front, like a soft touch rubber material on the back that tends to attract lint. Um, it's still fairly rugged though. I mean, it has an IP55 rating. It is drop in shock resistant. One benefit though of the build materials is that it's extremely lightweight. In SanDisk, you know, you have that three year warranty and with my review model, they even included this, the uh, SanDisk Carabiner. So kind of emphasizing the drive's ruggedness and its portability. Now you'll find a single IO port on the drive, a USB-C port. This is USB 3.1 Gen 2 enabled. And SanDisk does include a USB Type-C cable along with an adapter that allows it to adapt to USB-A for legacy connections. So that's fairly handy to have. But if you're using a new MacBook, of course you won't need that. All you need is this right here. Just plug it into the drive and then plug the other end into your MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I have the 13 inch 2018 MacBook Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it on in. And you know me, the first thing I'm going to check is system profiler USB. You can see it's up to 10 gigabits per second because it's USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is nice to have. So let's go ahead and run some speed tests using Blackmagic Disk Speed Test Tool. And you can see the speed, 473 megabytes per second write in about 522 read. So this drive comes pre-formatted using XFAT which gives it Windows and Mac compatibility out of the box. But of course, you can reformat that however you like. I'm gonna do Mac OS Extended Journaled here, and I'm gonna run that test again just to see if there's any difference at all. I don't suspect that there will be, but let's go ahead and try it anyway. All right, so about 487 write in about 520 read. So right around the same ballpark as before. And now let's use Quick Bench to run a sequential test. And this usually gets closer to the rated speed on the box for these drives. So let's go ahead and try it out. And let's check out the average. So you can see about 536 megabytes a second read, which comes close to that 550 rating on the box. So here are the final test results for the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. You can see read and write speeds. So we can conclude that this $300 drive is definitely capable of supporting 4K ProRes workflows on your MacBook Pro. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with the 9to5 Mac.